believe it is time. The governor grows complacent. His guards lazy. They have already forgotten the terror they wrought. I will remind them. Once you have removed the fire, you will no longer be safe here. Nor will the Maroons be if I stay. It will bring me sadness to see you go. We will meet again to celebrate Maroon independence. You know well the grounds of the governor's residence. Choose your moment. Do not get caught. the ghost ship. Brothers, they did not survive the journey here. I will personally find and kill every last one of you until I find my answer. Where is the hideout of the Maroons? I can remember. Who will come to your rescue? Your slaves? The overseers who follow your orders? Pathetic. What kind of man does not fight for himself? Why? I have killed many men on principle. But never have I wanted one to suffer as much as you. To understand what it is to gasp. And beg for your life. Like the innocence you drowned. You mean those slaves? That ship? But they are not even human. Without the discipline and guidance of their masters, they turn to rebellion. Murder. <laughs> like you. I only wish that were true. <laughs> It is done. He suffered badly. I made sure of it. Have you come to say goodbye? For now. But not without giving you this. Oh. After all this time, he lost interest. 
You're not worried they will fall into Templar's hands? I fear worse things now. No Templar plot can equal your wrath. <laughs> you tried to make light at a time like this? Only to lighten my sorrow at leaving. You will return to your brotherhood of assassins and whatever duty they assign you. I will return, yes. But I feel a tide changing within me. I'm no longer young. I must devote my energy to those who struggle for freedom. I will use my conviction and my creed to defend them alongside anyone who will help me. I have no one left to serve this to. I will keep it for memory. <laughs>